the desert, an isolated, barren landscape. Born from its stark facade is a place where people have gone since ancient times to seek clarity and remove themselves from the hustle and bustle of society. It is in the solemnity that only the desert can provide that one is able to ask life's toughest questions. Like, why do we race? Who shot Where JR? Babies come? Why is it that when I shave my beard on Monday, What's up with it's fully grown again by Tuesday? What is it? Why doesn't peanut butter need to be refrigerated? Who do I start on my NASCAR Fantasy Live roster here in Phoenix? Will Jimmy Johnson get me laps led because he's starting on the pole? He set a new track record, but will he dominate all day? Having both Johnson and Kenseth on my roster seems like a good choice. I mean, Kenseth starts 14th and looked to be fighting some loose conditions during practice, but it's Matt Kenseth. Kevin Harvick has won here three times in the Cup Series and was fast throughout all practices. Plus, it's Phoenix, so he's always a good choice. I need to find some value, but, but where? Jamie McMurray isn't cheap at $23 and a quarter, and he qualified 36th. But the thing is, he and his crew made some adjustments and seemed pretty happy after practice, so he could end up with some nice place differential points. I keep coming back to Timmy Hill, but why? At 525, it frees up some space on my roster, and, and outside of engine troubles last week in Texas, he's been pretty consistent and won't really lose me any points. I, I feel like I need to steer clear of Denny Hamlin. He's starting second, but was 26 fastest in final practice. The bottom line is, what have you done for me lately, Denny? Don't tinker with the roster. Trust your gut. But will it work? The only certainty I know is that I can log on to NASCAR.com slash fantasy and follow my roster live during the AdvoCare 500. But am I right?